everyone um, as mentioned at uh, last time we are still having a major weather issue here uh, from week to week if it's not heavy rainfall then it's the uh, crazy wind conditions there is really no letdown here in the uh, tri-state area um, I actually had a charter book over the weekend at Port Jefferson um, that was canceled due to the uh, windy conditions um, you know as a weekend warrior and with only a minimal you know, hours of fish, four. Uh, it's tough when uh, Mother Nature doesn't cooperate. Uh, I'm sure some of you uh, can relate. Anyway, uh, enough me rambling, uh, back to fishing. I don't have my fish finder here with me today. I'm just probing along the jetty, uh, going from one end to the other, uh, dropping my line anywhere from the rock to about, you know, 15 feet away. Uh, once I have a tap, then I'll consider anchoring up to fish that particular spot. Got a fish on here and it looks like it's got some weight to it. The uh, fish took a dive here and it's buried uh, into the rock. Uh, I will break the line if I keep pulling so I'm just letting the line go uh, a little slack here and hope it will swim out by itself. give a few gentle pull, hopefully it will force the uh, fish to uh, get out. Alright, it's uh, it's out, so I'm just gonna keep cranking. Uh, I see now why I thought it was a big fish. Uh, we got a double header here. Um, here's one benefit of using a super lightweight Michael J with two hooks, you know, catch more than one fish at a time. Caught a few more fish at that spot. Um, they were still chewing but I decided to move to a different location uh, hopefully to find some bigger fish. Um, how many of you guys actually do that to move to find other fish? Oh, I'm also getting a few comments about the jig from my last video. Hey, use what you're comfortable with and if you are catching fish and having fun doing it what's the issue? You know, uh, next video I'll uh, explain the uh, jig setup in detail and explain why I use it. Um, some of you might agree and some not so much. You know, talk jig wasn't po popular back in the days but now just about everybody is using it. So, you know, there you go. Uh, new spot also produced shorts and I mean lots of shorts almost every drop will get a hookup of some sort. The uh, water temperature is still warm about 60 degrees. I saw a bunch of swimmers uh, um, you know swimming out toward the middle of the sound. Um, with the colder temperature coming I'm hoping a, um, a set of bigger fish will slowly filter in and hopefully we'll be able to get them. Uh, with the jig that I'm using, I tend to have more hookup when I gently lift the jig just a little bit to uh, create uh, some kind of action or disturbance. The talks, uh, you know, tend to latch onto the bait band. Um, I think the action uh, catch the interest of the talk. If I just leave the jig there motionless, the hookup will come, but just less frequent. Um, I'll need to uh, send a camera down and uh, see if that's the case. There are a few more places I would like to go and check it out but because I'm short on time so I just anchored it up here and uh, tried to fish the remaining hour that I have so not to waste any more time. Besides the uh, black fish, I was able to uh, hook up with some jumbo sized porgies. Um, I think they might have moved out since the uh, cold front just came in. So I don't know, maybe they're there, maybe they're not. Um, just might need to go out there and check it out.
with the uh, colder temperature coming, I uh, just want to say be very careful out there. Um, you know, when I do go out, I usually have a uh, splash jacket and a uh, pant underneath my waiter, uh, which will keep me dry should I be in the water for a little bit. Um, but do be careful. Um, it's better safe than sorry. Alright, I'm going to stop narrating here. Uh, if you have a comment or suggestion, uh, things that you saw that I didn't see, uh, feel free to leave a comment at the section below.
and thanks for watching uh, please don't forget to leave a comment a like a dislike and please subscribe thank you